hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda. This week we're doing two videos and our first one will be an unboxing video and I'll be unboxing my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy. I recently restarted my BoxyCharm but I've had Ipsy for a while and I figured I'd do a little bit of an unboxing video. As always, thank you for watching my videos and I hope you stick around. So this is what the boxy charm looks like and this one's actually a pretty big one and we're going to open it up and the first thing I see on the top is Ciate London the Velvet Palette and we're just going to open it up, side, up, up, if I can get it open. I think I've heard other people mention this one was a little bit difficult to open. Ciate London is actually a pretty good company. They're vegan and cruelty free and their palettes are actually pretty awesome. I totally have one of their little blush and highlighter combos from an Ipsy and it's one of my favorite things ever. There we go, got it open. All right. This is what the front looks like. This is what the back looks like. I think that's really pretty. Oh, and then this is what the inside looks like. That's pretty cool. So the eyeshadow palette was on top of everything and then I took it out and card was in there warped but it says boxy charm fresh start for the month of january and it's got the information on the back like what everything is and how much it costs the first thing was the ciate london velvet eyeshadow palette and it's usually 30 dollars but we got it in the in our boxy charm the next thing i see in here is a pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. I've never actually tried anything from Pharmacy before, but I've heard really good stuff about their brand. I personally like getting skincare stuff in my um, subscription boxes. That's actually how I get a lot of my my skincare routine. I don't mind little heavy heavy skincare boxes i know my ipsy this month was a little heavy on skincare it honestly doesn't really bother me i kind of like getting a mix of both so finally got it out of the package and this is what the outside looks like bottom the top like i said i actually kind of like getting skincare in my boxes because it it's how I get a lot of my skincare, like my moisturizers and stuff like that. And the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer is retailed at $38. So, so, next thing is covered in bubble wrap. And it looks like it's a mist. This says it is the Lifestyle Co. Reset Mist indulge in a lavender and tea tree oil infused body and linen spray spray the reset mist on your sheets before bed before a calm sleep and use it as a toner for your face in the morning to enjoy the properties of tea so that sounds interesting we'll have to give that a try So the next thing in our box is the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream. And I'm not sure if I'm going to open this one just because I might do it in a giveaway. I don't really use regular eye creams very much. I usually just use like a regular moisturizer when I do my face. So I'm going to save that one for a giveaway. And then the last thing in my box this month is the queen studio dragon duo and it looks like it might be an eyeliner 
um, I don't know if it's a, it looks like it's a liquid eyeliner and then a pencil in it too. And again, I'm not sure if I'm going to open this one just because I might end up saving it. Um, I don't really use liquid eyeliners very often because my hands shake too much and they don't really go on very well. So I think I might also put that in one of my giveaways. I picked out for the month of February a NARS eyeliner pencil. I prefer those instead of like liquid eyeliners. And that's all for my BoxyCharm this month. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you in the next one. This is a closer look up of my Ipsy bag. We got a Jules Beauty lip gloss. We also got some hand cream. I got a face mask. And I also got a cleanser.